you know, we always design as much modularity and we call it extensible architecture into our printer families. And what that means is if you buy an EFI printer and you want a set of options down the road that it comes with, you can add them later on. Uh, the other thing it means, and this is what our customers really like, is it extends the life of their printer because, for instance, with our GS line, which has been out almost six years, uh, you can go ahead and a lot of the uh, enhancements we've brought out since then, you can put on one of the original printers. So it's one thing we do to help protect our customers' investment because they spend a lot of money on digital and they're very concerned about obsolescence. So that helps uh, really calm those fears and lets them get more life out of their printer. Uh, the advantages of LED um, curing are numerous. You know, much lower heat, much lower energy usage, as well as and that enables you the ability to print on a much wider variety of media, especially thin substrates that struggle sometimes with normal mercury arc curing because of the heat. So, uh, you know, that's the big advantage of LED. We're focused on it because one thing we've always done with our printers is make them as versatile as possible so people can uh, print on a wide variety of substrates, address a lot of applications. But with LED, that just lets them widen it more while using less energy, while making it just much easier in the process. In terms of what we're doing with it, first we've propagated it throughout our line. So now LEDs up and down through our whole range. Uh, you'll keep, continue to see us do that. And then there's a lot of work coming with uh, the chemistry uh, to continue improving that combination of curing and ink and to make it address even more applications in the future. The approach we take at EFI is we put in the enablers, or I call it the hooks and handles in the machine, to uh, let people add our suite of uh, productivity software products as they wish. And so somebody can start today with something very modest or with nothing at all and they're protected down the road if they want to go to more of an integrated workflow solution. Our CEO, Guy Gecht, has uh, set a very ambitious goal for us to hit a billion dollars by 2016. It also has to, happens to be a droop a year. Uh, so those coincide very nicely with our own corporate goal. And uh, we're going to have a lot of new technology at Drupa. I'm not going to pre-announce today, but uh, stay tuned. It's going to be very exciting. Uh, addressing uh, multiple different segments in industrial print and industrial inkjet. Our development with uh, our, our next generation of Fiery targeted at the Lambda type product is uh, well underway. Uh, we're uh, tracking very well with uh, the development of their printer and uh, it's going to be a fantastic showing at Drupa, um, but everything's tracking very well. Uh, what you'll see over the next 12 months for us to achieve our multiple goals of hitting a billion dollars and having incredible technology to show at Drupa. There's a lot of work going on in our engineering labs at the moment and uh, some very exciting technology. Also, as guys talked about in uh, our last earnings release, uh, you will also should expect us to do an acquisition at some point uh, later this year as well.